Hello, it's Polish Paul VR and let's do review of the transference, a game that made me feel that I should have used the toilet before I played it, because few times it's made me feel like there is, is a little stool brewing and if I get scared one more time it might just accidentally slide out. Transference had some very cool moments. But first of all let's talk about the graphics. I played it on PlayStation 4 Pro, in VR of course, and graphically this game shows that how good VR can be. Very, very sharp, but also all the objects within a game are very nice quality, very nice details on them. The textures are top class, nothing blurry and shitty. And the lightning, just adding on to the nice atmosphere of this house. Plus you've got some environmental particles, some good stuff in this game. And also what makes it even better is beautiful art style. You're switching in this game between realities. And this computer-like reality is very satisfying for eyeballs hungry for nice VR graphics. And also same goes for sound and voice acting. There is some like video sequences when there's a real life actor just performing. And I must say, they all perform well. But also you've got some in-game characters and the voice work for them is top quality as well. And also the sound design within the game works perfectly. Very nice 3D audio, sometimes you hear something and you'll be like, fuck, what was that? Let me just go and have a look. Let me slowly walk because Locomotion, sadly, as it goes for VR, is very slow, but on a plus side, all the comfort options, which are snap turning and blinders, can be completely switched off, so you've got smooth locomotion and smooth turning. To play the game, you'll be using your DualShock, the controls are very simple, you're basically walking around with your phone sticks, picking up objects with X, and that's how you interact as well. You can zoom in on them using your R2 and move objects around, and that's it for your controls. You don't need anything else. Very, very simple controls. The game features some puzzles, but they're not that hard. They're pretty satisfying, but nothing hardest. It's not gonna make you feel like, I'm a genius, look at me how smart I am. But it's gonna make you feel like, that was not too bad, I've done quite well. A part of puzzles, you'll be spending some time looking for shit, because this game involves looking for stuff as well. Once you find it, then you can progress the story. Probably jump scare will happen, you'll be like, wow, this shit me up big time. Story-wise, there was a dude who decided to plot his family consciousness into computer space. He was thinking it's a great idea, he said, yes, my family can be uploaded. What could go wrong? And that's all I'm gonna tell you, I don't want to spoil it for you. Some elements of the story I just can't get anyway, but it's kind of interesting, kept me interested. What I felt a bit disappointed about, it was the very, very small world of this game, the house you enter, you're probably gonna stay with it for the duration of the game. There is a moment when you go to like a backyard and at the beginning of the game you're out outside as well, but most of the game happening inside this house. It's not even a house, it's a flat with like five rooms or something. And of course you can switch between those realities, but still, I would like the world of the game to be bigger, not only because I felt like it's too small, but because it was so beautiful that I just wanted to see something else. I know, I know I should appreciate what I've got, but it just wasn't enough. And what wasn't enough as well was the gameplay time, because I finished this game in under two and a half hours. I could easily finish it in like hour and a half, but I was dumbest person ever and got stuck on the easiest puzzle of the game, spent like 40 minutes in it, looking for solution, and solution was the simplest thing ever. That's why I didn't try it. I was thinking, no, that can't be it. And it was. I was like, yes, Paul. Once again, you made a mistake. So I reckon some of you could finish this game in around an hour, which is kind of disappointing. When you look at the price of the game and the gameplay value you get out of it, everything about it I pretty much enjoyed, but definitely I didn't enjoy it when it ended too soon. And that's it, bye.